Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Uh, I just want to make one more video about model, the model class. And we're just going to be working with several models and kind of make sure it can rotate properly and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be, I think, the last video on models for now. I'm pr pretty sure about that. But before we get started, as usual, please check out the description box. Just open it up. you got a bunch of useful links down there. Uh, you can follow me on Discord, uh, Twitter. Check out my support page, really helps me out. And also, uh, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Otherwise, just keep watching and we'll figure this out, how to do this. So we have our game class. And basically what we're doing in the game class is we have a bunch of meshes and we clear them out when we make one model, right? And remember, this isn't how we want to do it later. This is just basically, uh, I'm also going to remove this quad for now. I don't want that. Uh, but yeah, basically we're just going to mm, have all this in one kind of call. So depending on the model, it will load different meshes and stuff. Uh, so we'll do that. Also, we don't want this meshes here. So we're going to go into game and we're going to remove the meshes vector here. And it's going to give us some problems uh, probably in game.cpp here. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make an std vector mesh meshes like that. I'm just going to use that local one to clear everything out. I don't need the clear there. Um, just meshes just like that. So there you go. That should be fine. And we don't delete it anywhere else, so we shouldn't get any problems. Um, and we'll just have one pyramid here. Now the thing is, we're not really using this position vector right now to show that. I'll just copy a few of these models. So these are a few models that we're making. Um, and this one is just going to be in the middle. This one is going to have Pusheen. So maybe we'll see ticks, Pusheen, and then ticks, Pusheen, Specular. And we're just going to put it up a bit. So 1.f. Um, and maybe 1.f back as well. And then we're going to use this one as a little bit to the right. 2.f, 0.f, maybe 1.f or 2.f back. Something like that uh, should be fine, pretty sure. This will be a texture container. So these are the positions I want. That's going to be smack bang in the middle. Um, yeah, that's the positions I want. And then to make sure that we can render multiple things, I'm just going to go in here. And instead of model zero, I'm going to say for auto uh, reference i this models. And I'm just going to remove this and just put my i there. Render all these models. And in the update, um, you see I'm rotating one of those at one speed. I think I'm going to rotate the other one at a little higher speed maybe along the Z axis or X axis as well. We'll see, we'll, we'll take the third one and we'll rotate it along the X axis. So they're all just gonna rotate a little differently. Now I'm 100% sure I have three here. That's why I'm doing this. Otherwise you probably don't wanna do this here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so if I just run this, pretty sure we're not gonna have our meshes moved anywhere they're all gonna be in the middle yeah they're all in the middle see they're all rotating here see so uh, so that's kinda weird isn't it why is that one flipping the hell out that one's flipping the hell out uh, okay okay so we'll we'll see a little bit We'll have that in the Y and the Z instead. Okay, so we'll see. Whatever. If we go into where we created these meshes, you'll see that they have a, their own positions, right? And if we have a model where we want the arm to be a little bit to the left and the right arm to be to the right, we're probably going to create meshes of the left and right arm, which are kind of have this offset. This is an offset. And we want to add that offset to the model's own position. Okay? So what we're going to do is pretty much go in here in the model.h and we're going to use this position. So if we open this right here and then we're going to push back all our meshes and then we're going to do another for auto 
pointer i or reference i rather reference i uh, this don't forget this meshes because this is for all the meshes locally local meshes here and this is for the meshes that we've copied in uh, so there we go and we're gonna say this or uh, i dot set position or move we're gonna use move because we want to add it move this position okay so we're gonna move it including its own from its own position uh, create a vector to the position of the uh, the object or the model and then we're gonna move it that much okay so since the model there is no real offset we're fine they're just gonna be moved to whatever uh, I said it to I hope that makes sense because the, I, the meshes are at zero zero so they're just gonna follow the models position if they had some kind of offset uh, they would kind of have that offset plus this position so they would be offset to a certain amount um, let me just see if I'm recording here yes let me fix one thing real quick so I always forget my little timer here so I keep track of time there we go okay okay so we have that going all right we have that going um, now 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 uh, while we rotate a mesh while we rotate it uh, 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 let's see so the rotation for the mesh is around its own position and I don't want to do that I want to try something we can't probably can't do this right today but we'll try const glm now I'm in mesh.h const glm vec3 origin so some kind of origin here and we're just gonna open the rotate um, or let's see uh, let's take that away actually we'll have the rotation origin here uh, da, 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 da. let's see rotate where's the rotate that's the rotate where's the update model matrix function so the way you make it kind of rotate around something is you you put it at the origin okay and you rotate it and then you put it back so if I uh, to show you just to show you how that works I'm pretty much just gonna do this I'm gonna put it here and I'm just gonna put every object to the center okay so glm vec3 0.f 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 all right, I'm just gonna put it to the center, rotate it, and then shove it back. So that's gonna make it kind of rotate around an axis instead. See, so it's all everything is rotating around the center point. And since this one is in the center, it's not really rotating around anything else but the center. So see, we're making an orbit, and that's kind of what I want to do, depending on where the model is, where the model is. And for me, that is that is kind of important. So this has to be the origin. So we're gonna make one more thing here: GLM vec3 origin. Okay. And we're gonna set this to this origin. Now, if I set the origin to the position itself, it won't matter. Then we'll just rotate around its own position. Um, but if it's something else, it will rotate around that. So there we go. Now in the model thingy, we need to kind of do glm vec3 origin equals glm vec3 0.f. So we'll just do that just for as a default. But within here, pretty much this origin equals origin. And uh, that should be fine. Same thing for this copy paste that uh, origin this origin origin and we're gonna have to play around with the position thingies if we move it and stuff but uh, we'll see how that works this origin equals OB G 
j.origin. Okay. All right, so that's cool. That's cool. And then we'll make a function for that as well. We'll just make sure we have a set origin function. Set origin. Origin this origin equals origin. Okay, so that's cool. So we'll do that. Uh, move will add to the position of it, but the origin will be the same. Um, yes, yes, that is okay. That is good. We like that. Rotation is good. Okay, okay. So if I go into, if I go into model, we'll move it to this position from wherever position it is to the position and we'll set the origin of that mesh to i dot set origin this position all right so we'll just do that uh, 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 uh. and we could do that here as well wherever we create a new mesh right here so uh, glm vec 3 0.f so I'll just do that for now you could set an origin here but we'll set it to the model's origin okay so let's just run this okay so yeah I guess kind of I guess yeah it's rotating around that origin point uh, wherever it should wherever the model is okay guys uh, so I found the problem um, first of all we need to go into mesh and to make it rotate around the origin point and then kind of give it an offset what you need to do is you need to write it like this you need to translate it to the origin go ahead and rotate it and then move it with the offset and the offset you get by, by getting the pos its own position minus the origin okay so you just want to do that might not really make a lot of sense right now uh, but if these two are the same if you haven't if you don't have an offset on the mesh okay the mesh is just gonna kinda move by zero here so it's gonna stay at the origin but if there is a little offset it's gonna kinda move towards one step after the rotation and it's gonna rotate orbit around this origin so you just make sure you have this code and then let's go into uh, let's go into model.h and what you want to do is you still want to have this move dot this position and then set origin to position okay now the thing is the move uses the old position plus this position so if we want to set an offset all we have to do is change the meshes position here now I added these two floats here to just fill it out so we can play around with it I'm just gonna show you that in a minute uh, but before we do just go ahead down here into update and just you know rotate everything around the y-axis that makes it a lot easier uh, so just do that now to show you that this works right now the thing that happens is I have no offset I really don't have any offset so they're all rotating around their own little axes here own origins uh, at this position of the models own position but if I say that the mesh is offset by one I should actually remove this origin thing we don't really need it so I'm sorry about the wasted time there um, but what we need to do is we need to set this to one so I'm gonna say okay the offset is gonna be one so this mesh is at the models position offset by one to the top uh, in the Y axis so if I run this we'll see that it everything is you know pushed up one step now if I were to kinda remove this and make everything offset to the right okay one step to the right uh, everything is moving around its models axis but not really at the same time not you know it's it's not well it just looks correct I don't know what I'm trying to say but it just looks correct so if I want to push another mesh here I want to push it at zero zero to the same model okay and I'm gonna push it as a quad I'm just gonna run this push it as a quad what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get a model see they're all just rotating along 
that axis. This one is rotating exactly where the position is, you know, this thing in the middle, while the pyramid is rotating around it. So that's how we made a model kind of rotate around that axis. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I think I kind of I kind of think that's cool. So just go ahead and play around with that. Just remember, this is your model's position, and this will be the offset of that ex specific mesh uh, relate relative to this position here. So just go ahead and change those values. Remember, origin up here, position minus origin. I'm not 100% on the math again, but uh, it should be fine. Um, just think about this. Think about what's happening in your head with the positions and why it's this way. Uh, it's not that complicated, but it, you know I, I understand if you're not completely 100 sure about this. But we'll talk about this more later. For now, this is fine. Um, yeah, I'm glad it works. Thank you all for sticking with me. Thanks for all the support. I really appreciate it. I hope this helped this video in making several objects and stuff. Um, we'll keep working on a model and stuff later, but for now, I think it's it's fine. We'll make a we'll make some other stuff. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support again. Check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe if you want to. Join us on Discord if you want as well. And yeah, thank you. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Bye-bye.